Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Walner. Welcome back to Coatworks Lightboard Sessions. Today we're going to be talking about PXDR. So this is PX Disaster Recovery. Coatworks offers two main levels of DR. Synchronous and asynchronous. Divide these up here. In the synchronous use case and the asynchronous use case, you have a primary and a DR site. In the synchronous use case, this is when applications need really low RPO, recover point object, and also low RTO. Uh, this is when your application downtime has to be absolutely minimal. And therefore, we need a pretty fast network connection between these clusters, typically less than 10 milliseconds. This is because Portworks is deployed in your primary site and in your DR site. However, they act as a single cluster, meaning when you write data to disk in this cluster, it's also replicated to this cluster. So data is always available in both sites. We also enable application cluster pairs so that your application can run in your primary site and be replicated from an object and application aware standpoint. And when a failure occurs, this application is brought up immediately based on the application centric objects and your data is already available. So your application is good to go essentially however fast your uh, orchestration system can bring that application back up. In the asynchronous use case, we still have a primary. And a DR site. However, these are typically separated by a larger geographical space. So you're either using the internet or uh, a WAN of some sort. The difference is that Portworks is deployed as two entirely separate clusters in both sites. We still allow applications to have a cluster pair at an object or application level, but we add an additional connection which replicates our snapshots of our volumes. So in this case, we can snapshot and replicate our volumes every two hours, or based on a policy we can associate it. This could be minutes, it could be um, days, months, those kind of things. Now in the case of failure, in this case, your application can come back up, but it will use the most recent backup which in this case is two hours. Note that the RPO will be about two hours as well. Um, so these use cases are best when you have a known kind of failure in LSLA that you can associate uh, that doesn't need basically a zero RPO. So again, this is synchronous and asynchronous DR from Portworx. Until next time, thanks for watching.